So welcome to another visual effect tutorial and today we're gonna be making the DCEU flash effect which has been requested a lot and I'm gonna be making this in two parts because this effect is ridiculously complex which is also why it took me so long to get around to making this tutorial and in the first part we're gonna be focusing on pretty much everything but the lightning and then in the second part we're gonna make the lightning so right here in After Effects you wanna start with having your actor layer separately so you gotta film your yourself in front of a green screen so you can get a separate layer of yourself you don't need to put yourself in a ridiculous location like I did so this right here is when I'm supposed to run away or disappear whatever and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit ctrl D to duplicate that and take just one frame of the end right there then add a directional blur let's turn this off so we can see yeah over 200 Then just stretch the layer a lot and move it like that and the blur is a little bit off so I'm gonna fix that and that looks about right so we have this now you want to put the opacity to 80 next duplicate the layer again this time take four frames the end and move it to start after the actor is gone then go to distort and then at turbulent displays put the size to 5 and amount to 200 and complexity to 10 then go to blur and sharpen and take CC radial fast blur put keyframes on and the amount and center and move center right there and put the amount to 30 then go to the last frame and move the center point further away and also increase the amount to 50 then put your layer to screen mode then add some noise let's put it to about 30 and remember to put off that use color noise then add a camera lens blur mount in two then put keyframes on and position scale and opacity and in the first frame move it right just a bit because the blur makes it appear to be more left than it is maybe just a bit more the last frame and now stretch the footage ridiculously much and move it towards the direction you're running to put the opacity to 10 in the last frame and in the first frame put it to 80 and now we have this weird after image that kind of fades away and I know it looks ridiculous at this point but it's it's gonna blend in with the other effects later then add a new adjustment layer below the actor layer and make it to start just when the actor runs off like that then take the pen tool and draw a mask and put the feather to 50 then go to distort and add a turbulent displacement put the mode to bulge the size to 70 and put keyframes on the evolution and amount go to the last frame and put the evolution to a little bit over 2 then put the amount to 10 in the last frame and I think it's a bit too much so I'm gonna put it to 40 in the first frame actually 30 looks better next you wanna add another adjustment layer behind your actor but this time you make it stop just before the adjustment layer that we just added and make it start 
at the moment when your when your flash is getting ready to run away. So that looks about right. Then take the pen tool again and draw a circular mask behind the actor and put the feather to 50. Then go to blur and sharpen and add a CC radial fast blur and move the center point somewhere close to the chest and put keyframes on in the amount. Obviously in the first frame it has to be zero and then go to the frame before I take off and put it to let's see how four it looks. And that looks about how I want it to look, so 40. So next, duplicate the actor later one more time and make it four frames long again. And make it start three frames before the actual actor layer ends. So it lasts one frame after the actor layer. Then go to effect, blur and sharpen, and add a CC vector blur. Then put the mode to direction fading and the amount to minus 150 and if the direction is wrong you can adjust it from here but the direction is pretty much right so I'm gonna keep it just like that then put the revolutions to 5 then go to transform and we go to the first frame put the opacity to 10 then in the frame where the actor leaves put it to 80 and then the frame after put it to 50 so now I'm gonna start adding a bunch of smoke layers and you will see how the effect blends in nicely after the smoke layers so now I've added two different smoke layers one that is uh, sideways muscle flare smoke that's moving pretty quickly and then there's the one that kind of stays here then I color corrected them to fit the scene and that's pretty much it so because they are pretty much the same thing or they're supposed to be the same element I'm just gonna press shift and, and select them both and press pre-compose and OK and then I'm gonna put it to, to screen mode again and now you have only one layer so this is something I really recommend doing because th that just makes your project so much cleaner so next we're gonna be adding some sparks and again I'm not gonna go to too much detail because it's literally just putting some layers into the scene and positioning them and that's something that really depends on your shot so now I've added a bunch of sparks, just a simple spark hits that you can find anywhere, literally. And you can make them look really good if you increase the contrast. As you can see, they look pretty good. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Pre-compose the sparks. So instead of five layers, there's gonna be one layer and you can just name them sparks and there much better so this right here is pretty much everything but the lightning so that's it for this part in the next part we're gonna be making the lightning which is a whole nother complicated process yeah it already looks pretty damn cool as you can see so we'll see you in the next part